Nearly 1,000 demonstrators marched to the White House to call on President Biden to demand a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. News for Mauricio Casillas reports today's demonstration also comes amid new warnings from the FBI about threats against both the Jewish and Muslim communities. A moment of reflection in Farragut Square. This gathering was organized by If Not Now, a Jewish group that calls for equality and peace for Israeli and Palestinian people. Many of us who have uh, family and loved ones in Israel who were killed or kidnapped this week, we are grieving. Grief and putting an end to suffering is what pushed many of the people in attendance to be here. We need another way out of this nightmare and that the bloodshed will only continue unless we de-escalate and again address the root causes of this violence. As the humanitarian crisis grows in Gaza and Israel appears to be preparing for a ground attack, we refuse. demonstrators made their demands to President Biden clear. You are the only one who can call for a ceasefire. Demonstrators made their way down Connecticut Avenue marching toward the White House. Some admitting that safety concerns were in the back of their heads. It comes as the FBI warns it's seen an uptick in rhetoric targeting Jewish people as well as Muslim institutions. I'm deeply afraid of the potential for more violence against our communities and I think if anything it drives home that we can only get safety all of us together. The FBI says it's reached out to faith leaders across the country to discuss potential threats against their community and warn people that if they see something that concerns them, to speak up about it. Reporting outside the White House, Mauricio Casillas, News 4.